Hi, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Today we are going to talk about Newton Leibniz formula and we talk about um, some limit question in previous videos. So today I am going to talk about um, method to express the infinite series as definite integral because in previous videos we use this theory and then um, present general formulas and finally I selected some examples to explain this theory okay now method to express the infinite series as definite integral first step express the given series in the form sum of 1 over n f of r over n then the limit is its sum when n approaches to infinity you know uh, about this then replace the r over n by x and 1 over n by dx and limit n approaches to infinity sum by the sign of integral sign we know this is integral sign and finally we can take the limits the lower limits and upper limits the lower and the upper limiting values of r over n for the first and the last term of r respectively okay i think now you know how to express the infinite series as definite integral and then we are going to talk about general formulas so first one limit n approaches to infinity sum of r is equal 1 to n 1 over n f of r over n is equal to now we know according to this the steps we can write here limit in approaches to infinity sum of r is equal to 1 over n so integral sign and 1 over n we know dx and r over n we know x and limit we can take here um, 0 to 1 here f of x dx or you can use limit n approaches to infinity sum of r is equal 1 to n minus 1 1 over n f of r over n also this is equal to 0 to 1 f of x dx okay then next formula sorry here second one limit n approaches to infinity sum of i is equal 0 to n minus 1 here b minus a over n times f of a plus b minus a over n times r here this is equal to a to b f of x dx then number 3 limit n approaches to infinity sum of r is equal 1 to n b minus a over n f of a plus b minus a over n times r here this is also equal to a to b f of x dx then fourth one limit n approaches to infinity 1 over n sum of r is equal to 5x to here psi of x f of r over n is equal to a to b f of x 
dx and here we use a is equal to limit n approaches to infinity phi x over n and b is equal to limit n approaches to infinity psi of x over n okay this is the formula so first one this equation this formula and also we can use here i is equal 1 to n minus 1 and then number 2 number 3 number 4 okay now we are going to discuss about some examples so first one limit n approaches to infinity n over n square plus 1 square plus n over n square plus 2 square plus this is going to n over 2 n square okay first if we plug in infinity here this is indeterminate form so we know uh, we need to use another method so now here we can write by some uh, sigma notation so limit n approaches to infinity here we can write this is equal to sum of r is equal 1 to n n over n square plus here 1 2 3 so common term here r square okay now what can we do okay now we can write this equation this term by using our general formula so we can write here this is equal to limit n approaches to infinity now i'm going to take n square as a factor so we can write here 1 over n square so this n also get cancelled so here 1 over n sum of i is equal 1 to n here 1 over now uh, we took n square as a factor so here 1 plus here r square over n square so r over n square okay now we can use this formula so we can write this is equal to limit uh, sorry by using integral so 0 to 1 dx over 1 plus we know r over n replaced by x so x square okay now we know dx over 1 plus x square arctan of x so arctan of x from 0 to 1 so now if we plug in 1 here tan inverse 1 so the answer is pi over 4 okay this is the answer now our next example example number 2 limit n approaches to infinity 1 to the k plus 2 to the k plus this is going to n to the k over n to the k plus 1 okay now again we can write this is by using segmentation so here sum of i is equal 1 to n here 1 2 3 4 so this is going to n so r to k r to the k here n to the k plus 1 okay again we can change this as limit n approaches to infinity here n to the k power times n to the 1 power so i'm going to take n as a factor so we can write 1 over n sum of r is equal 1 to n here r over k sorry here r over n to the k power okay now again we can use newton degrees formula so we can write here this is equal to 0 to 1 
x to the k power dx because here r over n is equal to x now integra integrating the power rule so x to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 integral from 0 to 1 so if we plug in 1 here 1 over k plus 1 okay this is the answer okay now our next example example number 3 limit n approaches to infinity here 1 over 4 times n square minus 1 plus 1 over sorry here square root 1 over square root of 4 n square minus 4 plus this is going to 1 over 3 times n square square root okay <coughs> now <coughs> again we can write this as using sigma notation so here sum of i is equal 1 to n 1 over 4 n square minus r square okay then what can we do now i am going to use this formula so here b minus a b we know our upper limit of integral here a is the upper lim so the lower limit okay now we can write here this is equal to limit n approaches to infinity now i am going to take n square as a factor so if we take n square outside of the square root sign here n so we can write here n so here 1 over n i'm going to write this is equal to 1 minus 0 now sum of i is equal 1 to n here 1 over now this n square we took as a factor and here a square root of 4 minus now here we have r square over n square so i am going to write this is 0 plus r times 1 minus 0 over n sorry here n power okay then this is familiar with us because this is this formula equal to this formula so we can write here this is equal to integral from 0 to 1 dx over 4 minus x square now we know this is arc sign so we can write <coughs> sorry this is equal to arc sine of x over 2 from 0 to 1. So if we plug in 1 here, we know this is equal to pi over 6. Okay, this is the answer. Now our next example. Limit in approaches to infinity. 1 square plus 2 square plus this is going to n square times 1 to the third power plus 2 to the third power plus this is going to n to the third power divided by 1 to the sixth power 2 to the sixth power and this is going to n to the sixth power okay now we can write this is equal to using sigma notation uh, so we know this series we can uh, represent by sum of i is equal 1 to n r square and this series we can write sum of i is equal 1 to n r to the third power over sum of i is equal 1 to n here r to the sixth power okay now again we can use the general formula first formula so we can write here this is equal to 
uh, before it I'm going to uh, change uh, this is like our first general formula so I'm going to write here 1 over n sum of r is equal 1 to n here we have r square so r square over n square so we can write here r over n or square and again I'm going to multiply by 1 over n and here r is equal 1 to n here r over n to the third power now in the denominator uh, I multiplied by here n here n square so into the third power here n here into the third power so I multiplied by 1 over n to the seventh power okay likewise we should multiply by 1 over into the 7 in denominator so we can write here 1 over n sum of r is equal 1 to n r over n to the 6 power now here 1 over n here 1 over into the 6 power 1 over into the 7 power okay this is okay now we know this is our first general formula so we can write this is equal to 0 to 1 x square dx likewise here we can write this is equal to 0 to 1 x to the third power dx over here 0 to 1 x to the sixth power dx okay now we know x square integral of x square x to the third power over 3 from 0 to 1 times here x to the fourth power over 4 from 0 to 1 over x to the seventh power over 7 from 0 to 1 okay then here if we plug in 1 1 over 3 times 1 over 4 over 1 over 7 okay if we simplify this here 7 the numerator so 7 over 12 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching